The first step in preparing for a virtual conference in Canvas using the big blue button conferencing tool is to make sure that your webcam and that your microphone are both working. In this case, the webcam is a simple plug-and-play type of device. The audio is supported with this uh, headset and microphone combination which is also plug-and-play. It's a USB type. The long and short of it is to make sure that they're working. You can do that with a test recording such as this, which I am doing now in Windows Live Movie Maker. Let's turn now to the application itself. Here I am masquerading as fictional student Paul McCartney, and I am about to join a, a conference in Canvas. So on the left in the course menu there's a button to conferences so I will click conferences and I will see in a moment the course conference that has been created by the instructor so I will choose join it now and the conference environment will load shortly and I will be invited immediately to share my webcam and microphone so I will click allow. And I can see that the microphone is working, but for purposes of this demonstration I'm going to change my microphone because I have two of them here and one of them is being recorded, used uh, for this recording. So I'm going to choose my webcam's microphone and then I should be able to join the audio just fine. Uh, ultimately you'll want to join the audio so that you can both hear uh, what the presenter is saying, in this case the presenter is the instructor, and also be able to use the microphone yourself. This is the conference environment. In the middle is this splash screen, I'll call it, and this is where you can load PowerPoint presentations, uh, documents, and other things. Here, over here is the uh, chat section, and this is where when you type a message and hit enter and you can also change the color of your message like uh, to blue you can hit send and you can see that the message will appear I know that it's really small on your screen now there's a, a uh, an attendees list of users and there's also a listeners list uh, the listeners list is just a confirmation that you can uh, make sure that you are heard or seen or both you also have this little mute switch that you can use if you wish Notice that there's a video doc. Now with this video doc, it's associated with a webcam uh, command where it says share my camera. So I'm going to choose this and you can see me right away. And when I move my mouse over the uh, play button, it uh, loads a little balloon, a little help balloon that says start sharing. I click that and you can see that my image is now being shown in the conference as well as my audio is being heard. Now from there you can uh, actually rearrange part of the components of this of your of this yourself. You can even get rid of this and you'll notice that it's being hidden at the bottom of the screen where it says default and you can move this around. In this manner uh, I'm looking at where the meeting is being created on another computer by the way you can put yourself or any of the components of the meeting wherever you want without disturbing uh, the meeting as a whole and so now you've joined the conference and you can engage in conversation uh, at the same time as everybody else this is called synchronous um, communication or a virtual meeting if you will